Hi guys, it's Kat. Welcome to my channel, I guess. Um, well, I'm nervous. <laughs> so today I'm gonna do a video about my marker process. Um, hopefully there's a few tips in there that I could help you out with. So I have a limited color palette because my markers, um, the collection I have, weren't exactly picked out for portrait drawings. <laughs> So I'm just trying to figure out which is the closest I can get to the colors on the face with the markers that I have right now. Always watch your markers on the paper that you're gonna use because each paper reacts differently. They also dry lighter than when you first put them on so you have to keep that in mind. I'm going to leave a link for the reference photo down in the description if you guys want to check that out. Okay, so let's start. Right now, I'm just filling in the base color uh, with the brush tip of the marker. So it'll depend on the shape of the highlights and the shadows, which end I use. And for this one, the highlights are what we call, um, they're a bit more abstract. For more precision, I'm using the brush tip. It'll depend on what type of paper you're using, if the strokes of the marker get left behind or they show. I'm using a 190 GSM paper, which is kind of thick. It absorbs the marker ink quite well. So far, I've been using it. There's not much marker strokes left behind. Now I'm using a darker base tone. What I'm doing is roughing out the shapes. Another thing with markers is the way you blend it is you have to use, well, what I do is I layer the colors working from light to dark and then I blend it with either mid-tones or a lighter shade of the color next to it. I'm going in with my yellows because I love my yellows and oranges. I'm just using that to define the shades around the eyes, the nose and the lips. Defining the eyes, coloring in the clothes. I really hate clothes. <laughs> I hate how the fabrics fold. It's, I don't know, it's like, it's a bit more complicated for me rather than coloring in faces. I really hate fabric. Now, I'm putting in the shadows for the hair. I'm quite a beginner with hair, so I really don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm just guessing how to make it look like hair, I guess. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Now you put the darkest shades that you have. Um, I'm just putting in gestured strokes. Haha, <laughs> look at me making up a word. No, I don't know what it's called. Um, but I don't pay too much detail into making it look exactly how the clothes look in the reference photo. Just to make it seem like how it seems, you know, clothes, fabric. <laughs> just defining now, making the hair darker so that it contrasts the face. And honestly, I think it's about done at this point. <laughs> now I'm just using acrylic ink put on the outlines of the face. I don't know, I just like doing that. That's how I like it to look like. So yeah, I just put it there. I use acrylic ink and acrylic markers for that. And then I use a brush just to define the clothes more, make it look like fabric. And I also use my 
oh shit, crayons. <laughs> my color pencils. To get in the details that I couldn't with the marker tips because it's too broad. Just shading it in there, adding more yellows and reds and pinks. Make it, make it look a bit more sketchy. Um, the colors I use are watercolor so that they don't shine. They don't have that much, you know, they don't have backs of them, obviously. And I use a jelly roll, Sakura jelly roll, to put in highlights. And that's it. So, sorry if I suck at explaining right now. It's my first time and I'm so nervous. Uh, I'm gonna be doing more videos like this with gouache, acrylics, and watercolors if anyone is interested. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and check out my IG if you guys wanna do that. Thanks and bye guys!